Fortunately, you don't have to kill the animal. You can do a small biopsy if it's a larger animal. And then for seafood, you just take one or two animals and you take these stem cells. And you build something called a stem cell bank. And it's literally a bank, like where you put money to store your money. You store all these trillions and billions of stem cells in small tubes um, in a frozen condition, which is sort of like your starter culture for sourdough or yogurt. And then you take this and then you add them in a large stainless steel tank called a bioreactor. Very similar to what you might see in a brewery. And in about two to four weeks, depending on which animal or which meat you're making, what you get is actually real meat or real seafood at the end of the day. It's not the whole animal. We are not doing cloning or any of the genetic uh, you know, engineering there. What we are doing is just growing part of the animal. One of the things that unfortunately has happened in the last couple of decades is because there's intensive farming, there's factory farming of animals and sea animals for food production um, being done in very crowded, smaller places because of the increase in demand, there's been an extremely in high increase in antibiotic use. It's easily available, it's cheap, it does the job. One of the key things that the cultivated industry or the complementary food industry can do is actually you know, not even have this AMR anymore. Because the reason is we are removing the animal from the equation. So you're, you don't have to use antibiotics. In our technology, we don't use antibiotics at the scale that we are in at. So there is no AMR, you know, concept of AMR.
we need a lot more governments to step in because this is food. This is not a good to have. It's a need to have. The population is increasing. The world is going to be 10 billion in number in the next couple of decades. That means you just need more food. And here we are producing food in a different way to add on complementary to the existing food systems. And we want more governments to be invested, involved in it so that they help us scale up this technology. And it's not just left on the startup's shoulders to be able to do that.